Uh, thank you for the, allowing me to ask the question. Dr. Ja, my question simply has to do with vaccine mandates. Um, even if the vaccine is safe, even if the vaccine is effective, there's always been a question since the beginning, should they be mandated? Should people lose their jobs? Should military members be forced out of the service over these vaccine mandates? And to this day, I don't think the administration has backed away from those mandates. Is it fair at this point in the endemic to back away from vaccine mandates and do what you're doing today, which is simply encourage people to get their vaccines? Yeah, so I think mandate decisions are always made at the local level by, so you can have, I have had a vaccine mandate that I have been subject to for 20 years for a flu vaccine, because as a physician, the hospital where I work said I could not step foot on campus after I think like December 1st or something if I didn't have my flu vaccine. Was that appropriate? The hospital thought it was, because they said that's how we make sure we protect other healthcare workers and that's how we protect patients. So this idea that in specific circumstances, we can't have vaccine mandates, we've had them forever, right? Uh, George Washington had a vaccine mandate. Well, they weren't quite vaccines then, but they were um, inoculations against smallpox. This is as old as America, we've done this. The military decides what it needs to have a healthy fighting, working, uh, fighting force. This is a decision up to our military leaders. Individual employers can make these decisions. So we've had a long history of this, of individual local decisions on these kinds of issues, and I think that is completely appropriate.